السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آف کلاس فائیو ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی کلاس ہاؤ آر یو ایوری باڈی آئی ہوپ یو آل آر کیپنگ ویل بائی دا گریس آف اللہ سبحان ہوا تعالیٰ اینڈ آئی ایم آلسو فائن ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیس یو اسلام اینڈ مورل ایڈوکیشن چیپٹر تھری اخلاق فسٹ آف آل وی ول لرن اباؤٹ آنیسٹی اصدیق مینس آنیسٹی which include truthfulness, goodness, humanly qualities when a person doesn't consider his own interest as more important than these of others and don't want to suppress the interest of others and we say that such person is honesty, has honesty. A person who possesses such a virtue is called an honest person. A man who has honesty will have respect for justice and morality he will have chance sense of human values he will always speak the truth and acquire trust of people even his aunt's enemy will believe him on the other hand there is no peace and happiness if there is no honesty dishonesty leads to take a place bad name reasons this falsehood dishonesty degrades a person in the society a society goes slowly to the road of destruction if lacks of honesty and goodness ultimately it is inhalated fraud and corruption involve the society great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said as-siddiq yunji wal kisb yuhlik a story described him the ideal honesty One day at the date of night, while Hazrat Umar was walking, walking on the pathway of Medina, he comes across a hut. In that hut lived a poor mother and her daughter. They used to earn their life food by selling milk. He heard the, uh, the two talking. The mother told the daughter to mix some amount of water with the milk. in the morning so that the quantity increased the daughter replied mom it is a dishonest act if khalifa come to know this he will inflict several punishment mother replied this will not be observed by the khalifa or his men not they will know this the daughter replied, responded even if khalifa umar al or his people cannot see this wrong deed allah himself is observing everything he sees and hears no one discover his eyes so umar al-tan who has was very much pleased and charmed by the honesty of the girl he arranged the marriage of his illable and capable son with this honest girl of that poor woman This girl was the maternal grandmother of Khalifa Umar bin Abdul Aziz rahimahullah serving the parents The parents are the nearest person to us in the world we have come to this earth through them they have brought us up with cares and affection and we have grown up They take care of us with love and sympathy. They used to clean our urine and face when we were infants. We will always behave well with them. We will obey them. We will respect them. We will carry, our, carry out their orders. We will carry out their orders. We will arrange for their medical treatment and nurse them if they are sick. We will never fail to take care of them. We must make sure that they live in peace and happiness. Allah says, Allah has said in the Holy Quran, الْحَسَانَا, and that you will be dutiful to your parents. This means, this means we shall behave well with them and be kind to them. shall not offer them and give them any trouble shall not abuse them 
and use her word with them shall not utter absurd language and in their presence shall not scold them in their presence or absence we should say such words that do such deed as word as would please them if they are pleased with us allah will also be pleased the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said ridha rabbi fi ridha alwalid wa sakhatuhu fi sakhat alwalid father's delight leads to the pleasure of allah and father's dissatisfaction causes allah's displeasure we will always invoke allah's forgiveness for them with the following supplication rabbil hamhuma kama rabbayani saghira my lord bestow on them your mercy even as they did bring me up in childhood look at the picture attentively here is a boy he is standing near his uh, near his mother said with water pot in his hand it is a very freezing night uh, basically this boy named tasad bai bustami rahmatullah he was famous by serving his mother the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said al jannatu tahta qudamil ummahat child's heaven lies under the feet of their mothers dignity of labor labor means toils effort instruction industry work all of us labor work hard and strive some of us work in business some of in agriculture some of in industry some of in learning and education some of in games and sports some of in service effort and toils are key to success Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said laysa lil insani illa ma sa'a man gets that whatever the toils sometimes we feel ashamed of carrying some task we think that people will not like if we perform such work because people may take us as servant such an attitude is wrong every one of us puts in labor in some form or other our great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to do his work his own work always he always he was never neglect of his task he would not hate any work or put it off he used to offer his assistance and cooperation to others in their work he would please in so doing his declaration about the domestic helpers or servants rings that your servants are your brother you should give them the same food as you eat they should they should be given the dress as you wear help them in their work do not cause them suffer in their work show them honor their work must be respected the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has enjoyed pay the worker his wages before drying up of the sweat due to toil so we should behave well with workers we should offer salam and show them respect if they are senior in age we should honor and take care of them we should feed them the same food as we eat we will assist them in their work we will not cause any hardship to them or put them in misery we will show honor to their work and labor it is our moral duty to accord prestige in their job we will pay workers wages before drying up in his sweat human rights and universal brotherhood rights of human beings are called human rights 
human beings are social beings they cannot live alone in the society there are various types of people rich and poor educated and illiterate young and old who lives together again some of these people are children open straight and deformed many of them are many of them are afflicted with different different problems but those people also have their rights islam views all human beings as one and the same everyone belongs his everyone belong to the human race over if there are is difference in matter of color language tribal and habitation in different region no discrimination between human beings is allowed in islam who is enjoyed that all are equal and all enjoy equal rights islam has granted just right for all so we will forget the variety of color and tribal we will live cordially together as brother friendship ignoring all discrimination we will form the bond of universal brotherhood we will not harm anybody rather we will do good to one another we will create universal brotherhood and establish human rights we will build golden bangla it is also our moral responsibility our great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said every one of you descendant from adam alaihi salam and adam alaihi salam was made out of clay here some fill in the blanks for your better research eyes number 1 at the age the parents become more dash on their children answer is at the old age the parents become more dependent on their children number 2 we will always dash well with parents answer is we will always behave well with parents number 3 Hazrat Umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu in first days in every sphere of the country answer is Hazrat Umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu in first justice in every sphere of he of the of the street number 4 we need to be dash to our parents answer is we need to be dutiful to our parents number 5 as-siddiq means dash answer is as-siddiq means honesty number 6 fathers delight leads to the dash of allah answer is fathers delight leads to the pleasure of allah number 7 children have a dash under the feet of their mother answer is children have a lies under the feet of their mother number 8 right of human beings are called dash answer is right of human beings are called human rights number 9 we shall not give any dash to our parents answer is we shall not give any trouble to our parents number 10 there is there is no dash in the judgment of hazrat umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu answer is there is no partiality in the judgment of hazrat umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu Here are some short questions for your group exercise. The answer of those questions are also available in your sheet. Number one, how will we behave with our parents? Number two, what do what is called a man who has honesty? Number three, what will we pray for our parents? Number four. who are the progenitor of human race number 5 right to necessities to be honest number 6 what is called human rights right to fathers of noble character 
number seven what should you do to acquire trust of the people number eight what do you do to build universal brotherhood write two sentences about it what's happened if there is lack of honesty in society number nine what should you do at the age of your parents number 11 what shall you what shall we get by earning delight of parents number 12 what do you do for being fruitful to others here are some descriptive questions for your exercise the answer of these questions are available in your sheet number one describe the honesty of a daughter at the time of Hazrat Omar number two what should we serve why should we serve our parents and how homework here are some homework for you after opening school all of you have to submit your homework together fill in the blanks number one right of human beings are called as number two at the old age the parents became more dash on their children number three there is no dash in the judgment of Hazrat Omar now short questions number one what will we pray for our parents number two who were the prisoners of human race number three what should you do at the age of your parents descriptive questions number one describe the honesty of our daughter at the time of my dear students that's all today see you again inshallah till then allah face allahu khairul hafizu wa huwa arhamur rahimin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh